Supermarket chain operator Empire Company Limited, which owns Sobeys, is buying Safeway Canada for $5.8 billion. The Nova Scotia-based company says the cash deal will boost its presence in Western Canada and help it compete in the broadening retail landscape. Major U.S. retail players like Walmart and Target have been making inroads in Canada with a growing selection of food items in their stores. Now, of course, a lot of uh, business is happening this week, news-wise anyway. Nick Bontis is here now to give us a little bit of insight. Let's talk about this Sobeys deal right away, Nick. We know there aren't a lot of Safeway stores here in Ontario, but should consumers perhaps be concerned about the shrinking number of grocery store chains? Well, you can think about it two ways. One shrinking choice is never that good for consumers but the other way is economies of scale is better for consumers uh, you're right nick there's not that many here in ontario but basically what's happening is sobeys has about 1300 stores safeways about 213 stores together it's about 1500 stores across the country the average shopper in canada spends about 411 dollars on groceries per month that number is actually slowly rising year over year so the concern that i have of course is that we have less choice but in ontario specifically especially for our hamilton viewers here I don't see much of an implication, and we still have a whole bunch of choice in our community, especially, Nick, with Walmart and Target also offering groceries. It's good for the consumers. A lot of competition, of course, on that right. side of things as well. Let's talk about Lululemon. They had mm -hmm. some struggles with that see-through uh, yoga <laughs> line they had a little while ago. But more importantly, their stock plunged something like 17%, almost $20 in the last little while. Uh, what's going on here, and is Lululemon in trouble? I won't say Lululemon's in trouble. It's not long-term damage, but we have had some significant human capital depletion. Specifically, the CEO has departed today, Christine Day. She announced that she's walking away. And this is coupled with another senior executive that left a couple weeks ago. Nick, you'll recall the chief product officer, a lady by the name of Sherry Watterson. She was the one that was behind the whole kind of yoga pant debacle with the, uh, the sheer yoga pants. So they have to hire some new senior executives to replace these two individuals. When senior executives get together, that's going to take some time for them to gel. They have to enter the Chinese market and they have to enter the European market. But most importantly, Lululemon has to figure out what is the right product mix between brand new technology and products versus the ones that are tried, tested and true that all of their loyal customers love. All right, let's talk about brand new technology right. again because this week, of course, Apple announced what it's called its biggest update since the iPhone launch, what was that, 2007. Yeah. The new operating system, it's called iOS 7 operating system, of course. Is this announcement, it, does it fall short for Apple? Is iOS 7 really good for the future of Apple? Where are we standing on this yeah, one? I'm a little bit iffy on this one. Uh, it wasn't as big news as I would have expected. The operating system does have some design changes, which is good because that's what Apple is known for. Uh, they did also launch iTunes Radio, which is free streaming music, but you have services like Spotify and Pandora that have been out for a while now, so there's not much new there. They also launched brand new MacBook laptops, which are cheaper by a few hundred dollars, so that's good news from Apple. Nick, all right, we appreciate all that tonight. Thanks for coming in a right. little earlier this week, and yep. we'll talk to you soon. Thank you okay. so much. Okay.